Hey everybody, welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. I just figured that before the big uh, climax scene, we would go back and cover some of the stuff that I skipped over because uh, A, I don't pay attention, and B, I went the back ass words way. <laughs> so basically, uh, I'm going to go over all those Kratos scenes and a bunch of scenes that we missed because we went ass backwards. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, how you trigger the first Kratos scene. And yes, to get all of this footage, I really did start a whole new game and play all the way back up to where I was. And, uh, I don't know. It didn't take that long. Well, yeah, it did. I don't know. Whatever. So, right whenever you first get to Palma Costa, uh, all you do is go up to this guard and talk to him. Of course you say, please. I love that logic. Of course it is. And uh, while we're in Palma Costa, here's a scene that you miss uh, with Sheena that you would normally be able to see if you went to go look at this boat. They're all like talking about how amazing this boat is and everything. This sure is an ancient design. Can't possibly still be using steam as a power source. How dare you insult her as a barrel? Shut up, what are you getting so worked out about? Uh, worked up about? Uh, uh, you're dead next time we meet? Deadly serious next time. Isn't that pretty much what she said last time? Anyway. Now if you, uh... Oh yeah, there's also this thing up here. They do the... Titanic... Thing. I don't, I don't know, whatever. Whatever. And next, uh, you can also see Sheena again if you stop in the um, House of Salvation on the way to Hakanesia Peak. La will suffer. Hey, what are you praying for? So I can save everyone. <sighs> There's a nice thought. Mm. What? Ah, I'm Colette. As if they haven't, like, met at all before. But, um, Mrs. Assassin? Mrs. Sass? Shina Fujibayashi. Mm. Praying that I'd be able to kill you. Be deadly serious next time. Uh. All right. So here are uh, ever the. Ugh. I kept trying to trigger all these uh, skits. And uh, the hotels and Palma Costa and uh, Asgard. I couldn't get them to trigger for some reason. And these are they. I don't know why they didn't trigger last time, but they did this time. I guess it's just a timeline thing. I don't know. I wasn't aware of all the repercussions of going the, uh, the backwards way, I guess, through the storyline. But everything won't be befuddled whenever... We continue, because we're past all that, so good for us. And if you stay again... Now, there are a couple of things that I'm going to be showing that I think that I may have already actually showed uh, before, but I don't really remember 
exactly. And that's like 32 episodes to look through to make sure, so I'm just going to show it just in case. Because I'm a busy man. Yeah. have to be stopped. So here's some more scenes that you don't really get to see uh, because you have Sheena with you. Now I'm pretty like from what I remember I think I remember doing this scene and uh, just going all the way and not fucking up but if you fuck up is whenever you get to see who the highest affection who has the highest affection rating for you. Uh, so I went ahead and fucked up here so you could see. And also, there's another scene at the end with Sheena. I had a little bit of tr uh, uh, trouble figuring out how to mess up. I thought that you would, like, die if you went straight into the ice, but it turns out that you have to jump through the geysers. Eh, it's weird, I know. Basically, you have to do that. Yeah, she... Uh, how, however that works. Whatever. Gotta help Colette. Hurry. I know. Uh. Okay, I'm better now. Mm. Hurry up. Hurry up. Move. So then Kratos is all like, Ugh, you stupid fucking fuck fuck. Uh. And just flops over there and with it and comes back okay there it is, yep. Mm -hmm. So then after all that shim sham you activate the thingy and then walk inside and you know what you call it stone and watten it. And then he's like, oh, I didn't even need to get it. Because the whole point of getting the Spiritual Statue is to learn where the seals are, but of course I already know where they are. So, I mean, it's really just kind of a side quest, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's magical. And since you don't have Sheena with you, she's still trying to pursue you and kill you. I waited previously to go there until I had Sheena, so you never get to see this. Uh, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> oh man. It has been a long time, but even if it hadn't, I probably still wouldn't remember. Because I have like the worst memory in the universe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would be walking more quickly than that over that light. I think that would be a bit concerning to me. Serious next time. <laughs> I want to know how Noish got over there. Did he get in a tub as well? I mean, he would have to taken up two of them. He followed us in a tub. He's busy thinking and stuff. Mm-hmm. No sense. No sense you'll make. And here's this scene with Kotan, whenever you bring back the statue. Uh, I just figured I would show it since it's different. Uh, he's all like, getting all googly over uh, Sheena, whenever you have Sheena early and come here. So. Now he's not. Basically you just get a little bit of extra stuff whenever you have Sheena. Blah, 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 blah. Two giant mm -hmm. apps. Gee, do you think? 
That's the Tower of Penis. What seal is that? Oh, well, let's go. Come back whenever you want to look at my penis again. And uh, here's this little thing. I don't know, I thought it was funny. Talk to this girl at the Thoda Geyser, or the Thoda Docks. They just play this game. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought it was funny. And here's another one of those scenes that I kind of think that I actually showed earlier, but I'm just going to show it again. Another one of the Sheena things, but I think this one you can do in both storylines. Although, I have to admit that the second choice a nice is a lot funnier to hear come out of Lloyd, coming out of Lloyd's mouth. So <laughs> the way he says it is just like, oh boy. Here it is. I was just thinking how cute you look. I was just thinking how cute you look. <laughs> Don't think saying stuff like that is going to You're still my enemy. Yeah, there's that. All right, and here is the uh, those scenes I was talking about where you can go and see the uh, the imposters again. There are two or three more of them in the game, and I also forgot to show them. So here they are. This is triggered after you destroy the Asgard uh, Asgard Ranch, and you go back to Asgard. You call him Fikes! I'm sure these people will understand as well. Chosen is so compassionate. Ugh. <laughs> you guys are the ones we met earlier at Palmacosta. You mustn't trust those and insult our savior. I love the guy just slowly walking up from the back. The co compassionate Chosen to take money from people suffering at the hands of the Zions? What? Don't say such things. Hey, Ray. It's that sexy bitch that twerked on the dais like 20 episodes ago. I remember that? Remember that, right? Yeah, hey, yeah, I do remember that. She twerked better than everyone. Yes. Anyway. Ah. <laughs> this tubby idiot. Stop. You right? Are you hurt? Will you give money back to the picture from everyone? Mustn't trick people. Please tell others that too. I'm okay. Go back to brother, right, everyone? Well, alright. Get out of here. Thank you. I won't forget you. There you go, it's everyone's money. Because our chosen is the real one. It doesn't matter. Fuck you. Uh -huh. Can't be. And you must be the chosen. Oh, well, yes, it seems. Ah. Uh. Please stop by my own. No, please, it's alright, you don't have to act like that, but we are hiding. Yeah, this is a pretty long scene. Pretty long one. Yep. But anyway, the next, uh, the next one actually triggers just after that. Uh, the second that you complete that, you can leave and go to the Balacroft Mausoleum and see it. They're just still dicking around being assholes, basically. Hey, it's the imposters! Well, we've gotten what we can, let's go to the next city! Oh, oh run away! Hey there, imposter, we're leaving now, bye! <laughs> I'm sorry. They're still doing that. Yes, but I don't even think they're bad people. You're too optimistic. And here is a scene that you normally, well, that you don't get to see in the other playthrough. 
because uh, this is how you get the tower, of, the key for the Tower of Mana normally. And it's a kind of like a little Clara side quest sort of a thing ish. I'm not sure if that's actually required uh, to continue the Clara side quest where you uh, try to save her, um, but I will find out. Our key was found. And here is how you do the next Kratos side quest. Right after uh, the professor leaves your party, you go back and get her bitch, and uh, then go back and sleep in that fancy hotel. Would you like to join me? Will you please hit next? Thank you. Yeah, I'll go. Let's go to a better place. Yes, but you still have a long way to go. I'm not getting very good at any fast. Well, man, I'm going to see me and I need two swords. I see you and learn the basics of them stuff and happy. Well, what? I always wanted a big brother who has practiced swords with me. I see. You're kind of old to be my big brother. <gasps> so here is the next one that you can get in Lubin for Kratos. You have to go here um, after you infiltrate or begin to infiltrate the um, Asgard Ranch. And then it triggers this after you talk to that weird guy there. Why do I always get so mad so quickly? Oh no. Why am I always so mad? <sighs> and then the final one that I was saying that I missed uh, last episode. What are you gonna do? Way up until you go up here, or whatever. Oh, sorry guys, it's really late. I'm tired. Your journey is finally coming to Partially, partially it's senile. Really, it's the journey you started by clinging to the chosen. This was to be expected. Clinging to the chosen? Don't you remember? It was you who said we have the chosen on our side, the savior who will regenerate the world. Yeah, that's right. I said that, and that's why I have to protect her. If relying and depending on the power of the chosen at the most crucial then the and the what do you know it? I don't but hey, if I make a mistake. <laughs> do it over. If it's something you can do over again, then feel free. Take that to heart, kiddos. Please. Look, we're in that same forest again. Oh, damn. Thank you, Sensei. I've never thanked you this whole time. You're my Sensei right? Do not have any right. <sighs> sensei. <sighs> sensei. Yes, yeah, Sensei. And uh, that's about it. Now we're pretty much caught up, so yeah. If you actually stuck through this video and enjoyed how much time I put into it, uh, having to play back through the entire game again, then I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like or a share or something, because, you know, I mean, I always need more people watching. You're the best. <laughs>